Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's Chuggy. And before we get started, let me just go ahead and drop this disclaimer right now. I don't own any of the rights to any of the music you hear in this video. I'm just a victim of being in a public place that has a satellite subscription to radio service. So yeah, please don't mute my, my, my video, YouTube. Anyway, it's Tuesday night. That means it's league night at my second league of the week, the practice league. And tonight, I think I'm going to actually work on stuff in practice. So, as you know, I bowled the uh, ABT this past weekend, and that was a tough pattern, 36-foot 36, uh, 36 flat pattern. Um, it wasn't unplayable, though, and I learned something that the way I needed to play that pattern is not a way that I am used to bowling. It's not a line I'm used to taking. It was uh, kind of a flick it up up the middle to the end of the pattern and then let the ball do the work type of thing you know we're talking we're talking around outside of the 10 board you know we're talking around 15 16 17 around there I'm not used to playing that narrow of a line into the pocket so i think that's what i'm going to work on today that's a line that you can play on a house shot and uh, we're going to get some good practice in because we're doing abt again this weekend up at cold creek they released a pattern for that it's not flat it's uh tapered it's a 39 foot i think i'll have to look and see i'm not sure but yeah so uh we're gonna work with the asim balls tonight we've got the two that i own at the moment but uh you can see them here we got we got the widow and we've got the zenith so i want a ball that's going to go a little straighter down and then you know have that kick off the pattern at or have that kick on the back end at the end of the pattern. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to be able to accomplish with the ASIM ball. So we're just going to do some ASIM practice tonight. Practice working on uh, a different line, a straighter line into the pocket from, you know, because this a uh, place I'm not really comfortable in. That's why it's practice. That's how you get better. That's how you advance. That's how you keep on chugging. Let's get bowling. All right. One quick thing I forgot before we start bowling here. I gotta give a shout out to my friend Mike Smith. He gave me this awesome new three ball bowling bag here. Like that's super awesome because bowling equipment is expensive. So thank you, Mike Smith. I told you I'd give you a shout out. So there it is. Thanks, Mike. You can catch, actually, we'll do even better. You can catch Mike on Sundays and Mondays. Whoever had a regular fry, it's ready at the front desk. I didn't have a Whoever regular, a regular fry, fry, but somebody did. Anyway, you can catch Mike Smith on Mondays and Sundays at Sinesta. I bowl with him. Well, not with him, but we bowl in the same league. He's a good guy. You should check him out. All right. Let's get bowling. So, like I was saying, we're going to try and play. We're going to stand. We're going to stand all the way at the end. 30. We're trying to flick it up 15, lay down spot around 15, and just kind of have it swim in. Something like that. A little bit slower ball speed. But something very close to that shot. All right, let's see if we can replicate that shot. We're starting out with the uh, with my widow. And really, what I'm trying to work on tonight is that release, getting it, getting a little off, getting it, flicking it down, flicking it off my wrist. Rook. Something kind of like that. You need to hit your mark though. And we're going to get my arm out in front of me. But the throw patterns, you know, you're not going to have any forgiveness out, out to the right. You know, if you miss right, it's going to stay right or it's going to go in the gutter. So we're really trying to work on controlling the middle part of the lane and working the middle part of the lane.
he says as he throws the gutter ball. <laughs> too far to the right. I missed that way, way, way right. And with that much spin, with that much rotation, and as slow as it was, that angle into the pocket, 710 is to be expected. Closer shot, so we can kind of see what we're trying to do here. That's it. That right there. Hopefully, I cleared away in enough time to see that. But yeah, that shot right there, right up between 15 and 20 and crossing about the 17. That's the shot we're looking for. All right, we're gonna stay in this ball for a little bit, maybe a couple more frames. Then we're gonna switch to the Zenith and see if we can't get the same kind of control with the Zenith. I'm also working on getting my arm out in front of me. That's gonna be key in keeping control of the shot this narrow. Whoops. But you don't wanna pull it. Ah, what the hell, we'll go ahead and grab the Zenith. This should be another strike ball if I'm playing that line. I'm going to come out a little bit more. That's about the 34. Yes, that's the rotation I want. All right. All right, that was a good, that was a good ball. What I think I'm gonna do, and I notice, you know, I keep my hand a little bit sideways. Keep, turn my hand a little bit sideways, my right hand. And keep that, keep that elbow, not my elbow, we keep that wrist bent. can see that. I'm missing my mark. My mark is that center arrow there, and I'm to the right of that. Actually, in between that center and that third arrow is my mark. I just missed that right. I also don't have my spare ball with me, so... Oh, yeah, this is awkward. It's all groovy. Alright. I'm going to come in just a bit. I'm going to come back to the 30 board. Okay. That broke just a little bit early. I can kick it, I can get it out to the left, to the right a little bit more. But yeah, that was about the line that I had to play on, on Saturday. Starting to get more comfortable playing it.
Just a flick of the wrist. All right, we've thrown the zenith for a couple. We're gonna go ahead and pick the widow back up. That was not it. So that Zenith, that Widow was a lot lighter. It was a lot weaker than the Zenith. Should not have played it that way. Straighten this ball out just a little bit. And get it turning a little bit faster. I think I'm in too far. I think I'm in too far to play that line with this ball. I need to move my feet out and uh, move my line in. All right. Let's go ahead and make that adjustment. We're going to move out. That was the line. That was the line. The ball did exactly what I wanted it to. It's a rarity when I can say that. <laughs> Just kidding. So for sleepers, you gotta kick it out wide. You don't want the ball to deflect. If anything, you kind of want to throw it in between the two pins, as you just saw there. All right. So I'm a fill shot. I still think that was a little right of target, but... We're not on the pro pattern, so we'll never know. What do we got here? 148. Not bad. Not bad. We don't really care about this score. We're just learning a new line, and I actually feel more comfortable with that line after just that one game session than I did Saturday, so I think we'll do a couple more practice sessions playing that line and see what we get out of it, but yeah. It's, uh, it's a little bit more of a tight motion. It's, if you gotta make sure you get the ball in front of you, keep the ball in front of you. Best advice I've received all week. But uh, yeah, that's the video for this week. We're just gonna keep it chill, keep it relaxed, and we're gonna finish out our series here and practice and get ready for next week's, or this weekend's ABT. So hey, please like, subscribe, share, and keep on chugging.